Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be taking a look at all of the new information in Fortnite Season 4, anywhere from new map changes and secret skins coming very soon in Fortnite. If you're excited for this video, please drop a like down below and click that subscribe button. I really appreciate all the support. We just hit 1.08 thousand and I'm doing my next giveaway at 1.5 thousand, so... I'm sure you guys want that giveaway, so click subscribe. And one more quick announcement, guys. So I'm trying to get monetized on YouTube, and the requirements are 1,000 subscribers, which I already have thanks to you guys. But I also need 4,000 watch hours in the past year, and that is like a ton. Currently, I have about 680 watch hours, so I'm not even a quarter of the way there. So I would really appreciate it if you guys could just watch this video all the way to the end to help me because every single person that does that will give me so many more hours so please guys help me out also follow me on twitter there's a link down below in the description and also follow me on instagram so guys let's jump straight into the video the first thing we're going to take a look at is the beacons right now their status and what's going on with them so you can see them on screen right here they have progressed a ton they're making this like whole like whirlpool basically outline around the entire top right corner of the map if you guys remember back in Season X when these Rift Beacons were on the map, what they did was turn the new locations on the map into OG locations. For example, the futuristic retail row was turned back into the OG retail row, but it brought along some zombies. But these beacons are different because, number one, it's not making that weird like purple bubble shield. People have actually seen it accidentally like it could have been a glitch they've seen the whole bubble being green which is kind of weird and then people have seen it being red which does make sense because tony stark did create these beacons and the question is what is he trying to do with these beacons uh people really don't know but there are some possibilities there's been some leaked information in the in-game files of anarchy acres returning because that would make sense because frenzy farm is up in the right hand corner of the map so it could bring back the og location but I don't see why Tony Stark would want to do that. I think he's going to bring something to do with the Avengers. And yeah, we really don't know the information. But I will definitely keep an eye on it and let you guys know what happens. So we did get a new map change today. It's another one of those small locations that was brought from the Marvel Universe into Fortnite. The first one we got was this little area with this truck. Which I believe that's the truck Wolverine is being locked in. And we will have to unlock that very shortly. The second one we got was the Ant-Man Hill. And the third one was the Black Panther spot. Rip Chadwick Boseman very sad but today we did get another one of those locations and it's even smaller than all the rest so this place is called the collection landmark and basically if you head over there and remember it doesn't appear in every single game so you gotta just look out for it but basically if you land there it'll show a ton of like og stuff from fortnite for example like the tilted clock from the clock tower which is pretty cool some teddy bears because the teddy bears and gnomes are like having a battle within the past two seasons i don't know if you guys have noticed that but pretty funny and then there's stuff like the meteor which is cool and a couple other items so this place is actually from the guardians of the galaxy in the movie there is someone called the collector and of course he's he collects stuff he has a ton of stuff in all these glass cases that very much looks like the new location in fortnite all right now with that out of the way guys some crazy information that pretty much no one knows about and it takes place on the spawn island and you have to get there fast i was able to go and find this spot and you guys can see where it is it is like the second to the top deck in the main control room where all these like computer screens are and in the middle one facing outward is an eye patch that is right and who in avengers has an eye patch well that would be nick fury so this is a little easter egg that fortnite is trying to tell us that there's going to be something to do with nick fury 99 percent sure it's going to be a skin because that's what they usually do when they hide these little things on the map but this is really cool because it's not on the actual map and it's very unnoticeable and only a couple people know about it so i hope this information is helpful and if you guys are excited for the nick fury skin be sure to drop a like down below and click subscribe because Nick Fury, honestly, he's such a cool character, and I really want him to come to the Fortnite item shop, so really excited for that. All right, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. I really appreciate you sticking around to the end to help me get these watch hours in, because remember, I need 4,000. It's a lot, so I really appreciate it. And of course, I'll keep you updated with all the Rift Beacons and changes coming in the future of Fortnite, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of that information. So I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.